Welcome back everybody to another episode of Sneaker Updates. This will be Sneaker Updates number 38. If you happen to be new here, this has now become a weekly series on the channel and if you're not familiar with the series, essentially we go over a variety of different sneakers, those of which got updates for throughout this week. For example, some of those may potentially include some Nike and Off-White, Yeezys, Jordans, and more. But with that short little intro out of the way, why don't we jump right into the first update. Kicking it off with Nike and Off-White, since that's what you guys likely want to hear about the most, let's start off with the blue Off-White Air Force One. As you guys should know by now, they did drop on Off-White after loading images. Now, regarding the Frenzy drop, they are not going to be dropping on Frenzy. However, the Sneakers app will be getting them still. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update right there, because I know a lot of you guys were asking, but right now, but right now, let's move on to some other off-white. First of all, just a brief reminder that the Terra Kiger 5 women's track and field off-white and Nike shoe will be dropping in three colors on June 24th for $180 each. With that out of the way though, getting to my favorite update, like I mentioned earlier this year, despite the 10 being complete, we still will be seeing more Nike and off-white shoes. And of course, we already saw it with the blue MCA Air Force Ones. However, we have a lot more in store and not just the women's track and field. For example, Virgil actually gave us a look at the SB off-whites. These come in two different colorways, those of which I'm actually really excited to be getting. I'm certainly more of a fan of the UNC colorway, but let me know what you guys think. Of course, I'm always interested to hear. So that's just some bright news I wanted to share with you guys regarding Nike and off-white. With Nike and Off-White out of the way though, why don't we move on to some Yeezys. What's going on with the Reflective Antlia and also the Synth? Retailers will be dropping both of which on June 27th. Yeezy Supply is not guaranteed to be dropping on that date. However, now regarding the non-reflectives, the non-reflectives are dropping on the 22nd everywhere. So, so when I upload this video, it will be tomorrow or in a couple of hours. And Leah's via Adidas, Yeezy Supply, Europe retailers, and those Europe retailers you won't need a reshipper for. And Synth would be exactly the same thing, only for Asia retailers, for example. Now regarding the Lundmark 350, this is the pair for the United States. These are dropping dropping the non-reflective pairs on July 13th via Adidas, Yeezy Supply, and multiple other retailers. Now when it comes to the reflective pair, the pair that the majority of you guys care about, the one that you're really stoked on, that pair is dropping July 11th. So it is following the same pattern as what we saw with the black 350 where there was a day in between. So yeah, that should cover all the 350s. Now moving on, courtesy of Yeezy Mafia, we have a look at the bone white Yeezy 500s dropping in August with a full family size run. Not really a big fan of these, not gonna lie, just in general, I'm not really a big fan of 500s. Feel free to let me know your thoughts on this pair or any of the pairs I mentioned today. But with Yeezys out of the way, why don't we move on to some Jordans to end off the video. First, courtesy of Z Sneakerheads, the Jordan 1 who said man was not meant to fly will be dropping November of 2019. Honestly, it's starting to feel like Jordan is starting to run out of ideas. They're kind of splitting hairs at this point, coming up with, you know, whatever they can. Not really a massive fan of these, but, you know, maybe your ideas are different than mine. Let me hear what you have to say about these. Moving on, courtesy of Han Zuying, we now have up-close images and also on-feet images of the Bread 11 dropping December 14th for $220. This is the first time they're retroing since 2012, and man, am I excited because for those of you who been watching the channel for a while you know that the bread 11 is actually my favorite shoe not only aesthetically but mostly sentimentally i'm not going to go into the full story now obviously but i'm really excited to be getting this pair and now what we could gather from these images we know it's going to be high cut patent leather not only that we also have the 23 in the back compared to what a lot we're assuming was going to be a 45. moving on june 22nd the ferrari 14s will be dropping sizes 7 to 18. Unfortunately, with this yellow pair, they're going to be mass produced unlike what we saw with the red pair, where the red pair was actually quite limited. It was extremely hyped as well. These shouldn't be too difficult to get your hands on if you did want a personal pair. Should be a breeze. Moving on, Nike has loaded images for the Icicle Pata Jordan 7. And let me just say, what a shame. They're doing another collaboration with Pata, and I, I like the first one. I think it's really nice colorway for a Jordan 7, one of the first 7s I've liked in a very long time. But if they're gonna do another collaboration, I mean, 
you have so many possibilities for colorways, yet they decide to go with something that's nearly the same. And finally, to end off the video, just a small update, we have official images for the Women's Turquoise 1 Mid dropping for $110. There's a lot of heat in this video, but we ended off with some mids. What a, what a great ending to the video. Anyway, I'm gonna conclude it here, guys. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed or if you perhaps learned a thing or two. Also, subscribe and turn on post notifications to stay updated. With that, though, I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and of course, good luck copying all these shoes that you intend to cop.